What's good, Ray Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we are going to be getting into another Amazon haul. Are we excited? This is the first haul in the new home, in the new space. If you don't know what's going on, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave a car on the screen. I just recently moved. I'm super excited for this one because y'all, you know when you move into a new space that the first place that you're hitting up is Amazon. Amazon for all the home decor, all the essentials, all the necessities, Amazon. I figured that I would go over some of the recent purchases that I've made, uh, things that I've been loving. I don't think anything in this haul will be repeats from previous videos, but what I will do is I will link the other two previous Amazon hauls that I have on my channel because they are very, 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 very crucial. Tea, a lot of staples in there, the mirrors, a lot of questions that I get about my home decor, etc. But I will make sure that we cover a good amount today. So don't worry. Without further ado, if you are interested in this Amazon haul, just keep on watching. Okay, y'all. So we have a little bit of a list. If you're not new here, you already know how I get down. If you are new here, I kind of dibble and dabble into a few different uh, categories. So we are gonna go over home decor, which I feel like is gonna be the probably the most hefty, just because I have a lot of new stuff in, a lot of things, uh, you know, related to my house because I just moved. <laughs> um, and a lot of questions that I get on things in my home anyway that I feel like, let, bada bing, bada boom, let's just knock it out. So we're gonna do home decor, we're gonna do beauty, we're gonna do kitchen and clothing. No tech this video, but don't worry. Like I said, my other two Amazon hauls have a lot of techie stuff included. Okay, starting off strong with home decor. First thing that I'm going to go over are these flowers. And they're not just any flowers. They are these gorgeous faux flowers that I feel like everybody needs. Are we seeing these? Are we see, you can't tell me these aren't real. Okay, you can because they're not, but these, these are tea and I love how they come already like tied with uh, a ribbon. Obviously you can take the ribbon off depending on the vase that you use, um, but these are gorgeous. I have some of these placed on my desk that you guys will see in a little bit. Um, and it's like in this hand sculpture and it's super, super cute. They look great in every single room. I just feel like it's a perfect addition to any space just to kind of give it some life. Um, and also, you know, we are heading into treacherous weather here. <laughs> it is October. Okay, uh, I am very lucky. I live in Houston, Texas, so it's not gonna get too, 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 too cold. But even for us, okay, we've been used to 100 degrees for the last four months. It's like 70 something, 80 something, and we're like, it's chilly outside. Like, girl, I'm from Ohio, okay? Right now, I think their high is 45 degrees. So anyway, these flowers are so stunning, and that leads me to my next item, which is this ribbed vase. I feel like, she is just stunning. And obviously I have a, a several bunches of these, but if you put like two or three in here, it just gives, it just gives babes. Like right now it's not gonna give cause the thing's not full. But do you see the vision? Do you see the vision, my love? And then, you know, really this is nice because it can be used for like actual flowers with water. If you are, you know, low on flowers, you don't have time to get some, you could always just double it up with this. Obviously because it is see-through, you know, people will be able to know that those are fake because there's no water in here. But at the same time, I don't think anybody's really worried about that. I think people are just worried about the look, um, at least, that's what I'm worried about. So to each their own, but this is a sturdy base. I, I love the rib material. I just love the shape. I just feel like it's very minimal, but it still adds a little pizzazz with the ribbing and the two different sizes. I love her. All right, moving on. Literally yesterday, I posted a photo of my little office nook. It's not finished yet, but I got so many questions. Where's the desk from? Where's the chair from? Where are the flowers from? Where's, and babes, we're gonna answer everything right now, right here, today, right now. 
But also, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, all the links to everything that I'm mentioning will be in the description box below, okay? If you're new here, I am the description box queen. That's what they call me in these YouTube streets. Not really, but I like to <laughs> call myself that because every single thing that you may th be thinking, where is that from? It's linked. The pillows behind me, the head, the, the duvet, everything. It's linked, babes. I'm gonna do the hard part for you. All you have to do is open up the description box find the item click the link and it's going to take you right there okay i love you okay so let's get into this desk setup i was very fortunate enough to be blessed with a little bit of like a dead space in my hallway and i was like you know what let's turn this into an office nook um so i don't have to have like a whole dedicated room for the office i love her she's so cute she's so like quaint and like put together but like also just very minimal the desk is um, an acrylic material. It's pretty sturdy. If I'm being honest, if you hit it from the side, like hard as hell, it will do this. Like, uh, you know, when you hit jello and it goes like, <laughs> that's the best way I can explain it. It will do that little motion um, if you hit it from like the edge, like the end. But if you hit it from the front or the back, like it's not going anywhere. As long as it's pushed all the way up against your wall, it's very sturdy. Um, and it's a dupe for the CB2 like acrylic line. Um, actually, this, my bedside tables, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, these are from CB2 um, and the quality is very comparable. The chair is also from Amazon. Very, very, very cozy. I actually found her on TikTok and the girlies knew exactly what they were talking about. So comfortable. I love that you can pump her up, pump her down. She's a full 360 swivel um, and she can rock from side to side. I feel so comfortable, so cozy. I feel like at peace when I'm sitting, editing, whatever. Um, I actually have plans to add like a little bit of like a throw blanket on top of her just for like extra texture um, and for coziness when I am sitting there and editing. The items on top of the table so as you guys see i already mentioned the flowers the vase is actually from world market if i can find the link i will link her down below but she's not from amazon but i'm sure you could find something similar and if i do find something similar she will also be linked um and then the items to the right side are all from amazon the little uh face pencil whatever holder the scissors and the nude very aesthetic looking <laughs> pens all from amazon all linked down below and that's my office setup next most commonly asked about when it comes to like my home decor my mirrors where are the mirrors from where are the mirrors from where are the mirrors from some of them are from like cb2 and ikea but majority of them are actually from amazon so i'm going to go over two of my most frequently asked where is this item from and the number one is the one in my living room. It is a huge, uh, you know, floor to, floor to ceiling, I guess is the term, or full size mirror. Um, and I uh, do not remember the actual dimensions off the top of my head. Don't worry, the link will take you there. I wanna say it's like a 78 by 35. I could be wrong, I could be wrong, but it's a very massive mirror. Um, it is from Amazon. It has a black border, which I just feel like is so much more chic, elevated, than you know your typical silver border mirror. Um, no hate, no shade on the silver mirror. Actually, right behind y'all is a silver border mirror <laughs> because I purchased her at a time where there was no black border mirrors around. Um, that's another story for another day. Love this mirror. I get all of my outfits of the days in that mirror. I get every little piece of like mirror content there because my living room is very wide open. I have lots of windows, lots of natural light and i think that that mirror being placed there is perfect because it's huge you can take photos without any of the borders showing so love her next mirror is the big circle mirror that is in my entryway i feel like i hit the jackpot when i found this mirror because she's sturdy she's easy to just like knock a little pin in hang her up and she's also huge massive you can take pictures in this mirror and the borders will not show as well um i just love where she's placed also in my home it adds like a like a little bit of a flare without doing too much in that entryway space um it's also just a perfect like okay i'm heading out the door let me check my lips let me check my makeup you know whatever check my hair and like 
it out so last for home decor uh don't worry girl we got a few more things that are i guess you could consider home decor but they're also strategically all placed in one area of my home you'll see in a second um but last for like general home decor are these throw pillows so the throw pillows that you see behind me i will show you guys one i get so many questions where are these pillows from y'all they are from amazon the insert and the actual um cover are both from amazon what i love about these pillows they are so comfortable and soft they are down feather material that's how you get the chop but this is a tip okay that i learned a little while ago and i feel like i want to share because everybody always asks how i get like my pillows so perfect and my bedding so perfect when it comes to those pillows whatever size you want that's fine but always make sure that you size up on the insert in comparison to the cover for example these covers i believe are 20 by 20s i bought 22 by 22 inserts so when you put it in there it's stuffed to the brim and that's how you get this clean chop. So if I don't chop it right, like there's so much product in here, <laughs> product. There's so much like down feather material in here, okay? So this is how the pillow looks normally. Then, you know, you flatten it out and all you have to do is, and do you see how perfect? She's gorgeous. All right, our next category is beauty, okay? First of all, can we talk about this beauty on his face? <laughs> no, not too much. I'm just in a really high-spirited, uplifted mood. I feel like this is my first time actually doing glam at the new place. I'm really happy um, just with how everything is going right now in my life. But anyway, back to the beauty section. Back to the beauty section. So my first purchase on this list is my vanity mirror y'all little little backstory little backstory i have wanted a vanity mirror since i was like eight years old and i even knew that they existed like i always wanted to be the youtube girly that sat in front of her little vanity and did her little makeup and made her little silly videos like i love that and you know just because like vanities were super expensive always have been super expensive it was just always something that like really wasn't attainable for me at the time or there are things that took precedence to me spending six hundred dollars on a freaking vanity mirror like it just you know it was ridiculous but now we are in present day now that we finally moved now that we have the space also because space is also a factor um i decided to splurge on you know my beauty room my get ready with me room whatever and i purchased a vanity mirror and she's gorgeous she is huge i don't really i don't know the measurements off the top of my head like i said everything will be linked down below you have the three um buttons on the screen one to turn it on and off one to change it from cool tone to daylight to warm tone um and then one other button to increase the brightness and dim the lights she just plugs uh into the wall and then there also comes with a usb on the side if you want to plug in a phone plug in something to charge or whatever i feel like it was such a nice investment um the mirror is like really really nice and clear um the vanity is solid like that is a heavy vanity also the nice thing is if you do have um you know mountable walls you can mount the actual mirror to the wall you do not have to stand it on your vanity um desk it's completely up to you the next item that i'm super excited to share are these drawer organizers so these are like acrylic drawer organizers the girlies that get it get it there's nothing that gives me anxiety more than when i open up a drawer and everything's just scattered like no <laughs> like no 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 man especially for my vanity i just feel like these are perfect they all size up equally like, there's so many different uh configurations that you can make for reference let me show you everything stacks into the biggest one so that tells you right there you know that 
everything will fit when it's in the drawer like everything fits in the biggest one i have them placed uh, in the pull out drawer from my vanity i also have some of these in like my regular drawers like in my kitchen i have them in my skincare drawer in my bathroom i have them everywhere throughout my house because it's an essential you need your drawers organized if you're anybody like me now if you don't care and you just throw your stuff in there and you like it just to go everywhere willy-nilly like please do your thing 21 do your thing but for me personally for me i like organization so these are perfect last thing um in like the makeup department of the beauty section is this makeup holder i've talked about her before and i won't stop talking about her she's perfect look at the size i love the handle she's easy to just transport and honestly y'all I used to be somebody that like I needed all of my makeup like in like a tray or like out like in my bathroom no like I like it's sad because I have whole vanity now and I still have not transported any of my makeup into that vanity yet I live out of this thing and then like when it's time to travel I just take her with me and I just put her in my suitcase like she's perfect so she zips open like this and the top i'm sorry y'all it's very dirty in here excuse the mess but the top holds hella brushes like let me show y'all do y'all see all those brushes child they dirty but mind your business and then she holds all of this makeup and product inside she's huge i personally love the fact that there's a zip closure like zips over everything i just feel like it's so much more secure and then there's also a front pocket right here i love her uh she's perfect if you still like if you just have a small vanity and you don't have like a pull out drawer and you just want something that can like be sat on top like this is perfect perfect size perfect to travel with okay the last two are more like skincare part of beauty the first thing are these wipes they're like wipes that can be used to dry you off and they can be used um, wet. I love these. These are like single use napkins. I, I don't even know what, dry, they're called 100% biodegradable dry wipes. You can use them dry or wet. They're super absorbent. They're very soft and they're extra strong. And every single thing that I just read off this box is extremely true they have like a textured more rough side that you can use if you want to exfoliate or like really get makeup off and then they have like a smooth size if you just want to dry your face these are great if you're somebody who is really into skincare really into making sure that you know you don't have any acne this is what you need stop using your facial towel your hand towel whatever to dry your face off like Bacteria just breeds on your towel and then you're putting it on your face when you think your face is clean You just put bacteria back on it use these single-use towels. I promise you it'll change your life I think it's also a good idea if you have like a guest bathroom and You're having like an event or a lot of people over and you don't want to Necessarily have like a hand towel because obviously like I just said like that's just people reusing the same thing over and over and over again It's just a high chance of bacteria to breed you can put these out you can put them on a tray you can leave it in the box however you want and basically it just opens up and people can just take one at a time the last item in this like skincare beauty category are these sponges i know you're probably like girl ain't them cotton rounds no babes these are sponges they look like this i'm sure you done seen these on tiktok you probably have seen the pink ones go viral these are just white they're just more aesthetic for me um and you put them underwater and then they puff up into a sponge these are amazing for getting into your face to wash it removing makeup however you want to go about using these love these okay i just like how compact they are look at how small how tiny and then once you put it underwater like you see in the clip away it's gonna puff up into a sponge i just feel like every girly needs them Click the link the next category super exciting it is kitchen i am very proud of myself i had really no straight vision for how i wanted my coffee slash cocktail bar to be but i feel like i executed and executed perfectly 90 percent of the stuff that you guys see in this clip 
is from Amazon and I'm gonna go through a few of my favorite items. Starting off with the glassware. Honey, <laughs> are we seeing what I'm seeing? Some of these are from like Crate and Barrel CB2, but majority of them are from Amazon and I will have them all linked down below. Um, starting from the coffee mugs to the like regular, like what I call like coffee glass. Um, that you see people put like all their like iced coffees in and stuff like that. Um, the short ribbed and the tall ribbed glasses as well. All from Amazon. They're just stunning. I love how I have them displayed in my coffee bar because it just adds like oh what's the word like i just love like exposed shelving with like some like super cute like funky little glasses and things i just think that it's super cute and uh i don't know how many times i'm gonna say super cute in this video but i just feel like it's super cute <laughs> now right along with these glasses i have these glass straws that are perfect i feel like they go well with pretty much any glass that you see obviously i'm not gonna put these in a wine glass but you get what i'm saying like any regular drink glass these pair perfectly with them um they're good especially if you do like a lot of iced coffees and stuff for to stir and to drink out of i really like these um they're very sturdy you can put them in the dishwasher and these sets come with their own brush that you can like put in there to make sure that like the straw is cleaned out um which is a win-win since we are on the topic of glasses cups all of that i feel like i have to mention this simply modern stanley dupe cup i mean what this is the 40 ounce tumbler and she's gorgeous look at the color are we seeing are we seeing this i love the handle i feel like i have my life together when i have her um it comes with two of these straws and like y'all look at the top do you see how flat and just like, look, it goes in so smoothly. Like there's no gapping even between the straw and the uh, like sides of where the straw enters. So it's like literally leak proof. I'm obsessed, obsessed. Believe the hype. At first, when Stanley was first out, I have known about Stanley, Stanley for years. I'm like, what's the big deal? Like, never owned one, but I was just like, what's tea? Very much tea, very much tea. And then the girlies started talking about this and said that it's a direct dupe, but it's better. I said, hold on, and it's cheaper? Slam that link so fast. I've never shipped something so fast to my house in my life. This came, I cannot make this up y'all. I ordered it at 11 a.m. It came to my house by 3 p.m. the same day. I don't know who is running that Simply Modern storefront, shop, whatever you want to call it, but they need a raise, they need a bonus, they need, they need all that. I'm, I'm impressed. Also, they have a wide variety of different colors. Um, if you're not really a neutral girly, if you're a purple girly, a red girly, a black girly, whatever, they have every shape for you, sweet pea. Okay, back to the coffee bar. I love this coffee bar stand. So. Disclaimer, if you are not handy, it really is not that difficult, but let's just say you are not handy. You are not somebody that's about to, you know, put some screws into a piece of wood. Like, don't buy this because it did not come built. But when I tell you it was very simple to build, I, as you guys know, like I always task stuff to like task rabbits and like my handyman when it comes to building stuff and I was able to build it. So if I was able to build it, you were able to build it, babe. It is this gorgeous, like, what do they call that like cherry wood it's just like a rich wood material with the, like the black trimming um it just ties this space together so nicely uh it's like a two level coffee bar cocktail you know situation really just a place for like storage of different things and like it honestly just adds a little bit of pizzazz to the space and i love it as you guys can see i have mine with different like vessels and whatnot that i will fill with things when the time comes i just set this up literally in the last two days so not too much on me okay she's also perfect if you're somebody that doesn't have a huge 
um, you know, coffee area like me, you just have like one little corner in your home, um, you can, you know, get her and like put her underneath the cabinets or whatever, um, depending on how high up or low that they are. Okay, where the cooks at? Where the chefs at? Where the, where the girlies that's trying to get shows at? Where are at? Where are at? Oh, the cookbooks, okay? The cookbooks, the cookbooks stand. By the way, I was joking about the girlies that's trying to get shows. I don't know about y'all, but I've really been trying to get into my chef bag, my chef era, okay? Like, listen, I can't be eating out every single day. Steak 48 gotta wait. I'm sorry, like, I can't be doing it. Not only is it not friendly to my pockets, but it's not friendly to my midsection either. Like, I swear by a home-cooked meal. I feel my best when I'm really eating at home. Besides my meal prep, when I'm putting my own meals together, I feel like I'm just like really on my ish, you know? And uh, so I've been telling myself, like, I really want to get into cooking, specifically baking. And I purchased a few cookbooks that I feel like not only add, like, nice decor to my coffee bar slash cocktail bar area, but they're also going to be useful when it comes to, you know, this fall and winter season when I'm really just, like, in my home being cozy, making my little, baking my little muffins, making my little stews and broths, like, yeah. I'm excited so I'm gonna have all three of the cookbooks that you see um, linked down below but then I'm also going to link the cookbook stand that the uh, cook I think it's like cook for two or whatever book is standing on it's perfect it's just like so warm inviting and it's you know so it's nice for like decor purposes but it's actually also useful when you are cooking that you have both the pages open you don't have to be you know washing your hands try to dry them off turn the page like everything's just there presented in front of you love her last but not least we are going to get into my new set of like plate dinnerware i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i love the whole look of like a plate like it's a plate but a bowl like that type of you know vibe like I think that it's just so cute and the last section is clothing so I honestly have not dibbled and dabbled as much as I should for the fall season yet from Amazon don't worry another Amazon haul will probably be coming by the end of this year um, and we'll get into a lot of like fall and winter clothing but for now I came across the most perfect sets um, if you live in Houston, like me, a warmer climate, or even, you know, still up north, when you're, like, if you're able to, like, pair this with, like, a trench or, like, a bomber, your legs might be a little cold, but I do have something that might come in handy for it. I think that these sets are perfect. So, I actually just washed both, both of these sets. So, they're very wrinkly because I forgot to take them out of the dryer on time. But anyway, they are these cute, short and crew neck sets. I feel like these are perfect for the airport. I feel like these are perfect for running errands. Um, they're just cute and like they're perfect, especially for my climate because we're still in like the 70s. So I know that sounds crazy if you're from up north because you're like, that's still hot. But like imagine going from 100 degree weather to 70 degrees, like we, we do, our pores are still very sensitive. We have not acclimated yet. So I feel like these like crew necks um, and like the sweater material is perfect. I also love these have this material on the inside. So it's like the Teddy comfortable material. Um, yeah, super cute. They fit great. I got both sets in a size medium. That's the top and the bottom. I like a baggy top. Um, and I wanted the shorts to fit my behind because you guys know I got some junk in the trunk, so. Yeah. And I feel like the perfect thing to go with that set are these pair of slouchy white socks. So I say slouchy because they're typically like worn, scrunched down. They're the super long white ones. Um, these are like my favorite. I will link them down below as I will everything. But these are great, uh, especially going into the season. You can wear them with Uggs. You can wear them with like the dad chunky sneakers. I actually just got a pair of New Balances. They're so cute but i think that these with the new balances and the gray set are gonna eat eat down okay and that brings me to the end of this haul short and sweet how we like it but don't worry i will link the other two amazon hauls that i have recently filmed this year 
down below. I will make sure that they are the first links or like they're early up on the description box so you can reference them as well, as well as my Amazon storefront. Everything in today's video and those other two videos and just etc. will be there. I have stuff for being a PA, PA school, gym, home decor, beauty necessities, everything up under the sun, tech, filming stuff, influencer stuff, Everything that you could think of will be in my Amazon storefront. The links will be down in the description box below. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below if these are helpful so I know to continue to keep making them. Also, please comment down below any things that you might be picking up that I did not mention or anything that you will be picking up from this video. Um, I know it's gonna be a lot, girl. I, I'm sorry. Tell your bank account I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> if you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the gang, okay? We are a big family over here and we would love to have you. And without further ado, I love you guys, Ray Gang, and I will see you in the next video.